Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here coming at you with an exciting tutorial on optical flares obscuration with E3D, Element 3D. Um, I know there are plenty of tutorials out there, but this one specifically covers um, if you are going to be replacing a sun, um, how I did it basically. I'll show you what I got here. This is what we're going to be doing. All right. Okay. So, oh. okay. So now, um, first of all, Element 3D is in preview mode because uh, my computer is a little slow. So, and I've removed the extra stuff that I had originally in this project, which are like uh, smoke and, and color correction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I only have the necessary. Uh, for obscuration tutorial okay so there you go so we got element 3d here which is uh, already animated and I've got the null um, all selected and I've also got a sunlight which is basically gonna give us the position for optical flares okay the first thing to do before we can add optical flares is that we need to pre-compose Element 3D layer. Element 3D layer uh, consists of all of these nulls and the 3D layer itself. So let me press Command Shift C and I'll call this Element 3D Precomp and move all the attributes into the new composition and hit OK and that has disappeared. That is because the camera do not exist inside of that comp. So what you need to do is copy and paste this camera and it's there and hopefully that should appear now there you go okay so now what we want to do is add a new solid which is command y and i'm going to call this optical player one making sure it is comp size click ok and let's add optical players there you go okay now um for this one i actually purchased pro presets and the particular song I used in the video exists in Pro Preset version 1. So I'm going to just try and find it now. That's the one. Okay, cool. So let me change the render mode to on transparent so we can see the footage in the background. Let me reduce the scale to 7%, which I figured that is the best uh, okay oh. the, the um, reason I hesitated a little there is because I wasn't sure why it was it is the way it looks right now and that's because the source type is 2d I want to change that to track lights and the track lights will track whatever lights you've got in your car in my case, I've got B sunlight. Now, the reason why I got it B sunlight is because I can choose which which light I want to I want to track. Uh, where it says name starts with, I can change it to B, so it only tracks that light. Now, it doesn't make sense in this video here, but it will make sense if you have more lights. You know, to choose the one that you particularly want the optical flares to react to or, or affect. So, anyway, that's out of the way. Let's just have a look at this and see if the optical flares is obscured by our element 3D layer. Okay, well, it isn't. So, what you want to do is go to foreground layers, layer 1, and choose a 3D pre comp, and bam, there you go happening so it's just beautiful right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run and I'm going to show you that there is a problem though because we're only using one layer of optical flares this is what you will see notice that in real life the sun will not reduce in size like that so 
this is why I'm making this tutorial. I don't think there is a specific tutorial like this out there. Yeah. So, you can see closely now, so you know, it's actually reducing in size. It just doesn't look right. So how do we overcome this issue? Um, well, this is what I did. Okay, so let me just pull this timeline to the location where you can see the sun like that. Let's say, for example, right? Okay. What I'm going to do is first of all the top layer. I'm going to move this below the element 3D layer and remove the foreground obscuration to none so that's fine and then I'm going to duplicate it and pull it above the element 3D layer now I'm going to choose source layer well the obscuration layer to be the 3D comp and I'm going to change the render mode to on black okay I know it doesn't make sense but Bear with me. Change the mode to screen. Okay, so now we've got the optical flares layer on top with an obscuration of element 3D and on black and the it's it's on screen mode. The one below, we definitely want to change the obscuration layer to none, which we have already done. That's great. Okay, perfect. Now what's happening here is that you can see a little black spot there, and that is because of 32-bit version. Okay, so what I'm gonna how I'm gonna fix that is by introducing some levels in here. So if I put in levels, you can see here, click black, uh, click the, out the black and white, switch them on, and bam, there you go. So I'm going to do that for both, even though it's already done the job. I'm going to do that for both the layers, just in case. All right, there you go. Now let's preview this. All right. Okay, it is taking a little bit longer. So what I'll do is I'll pause and I'll come back. Okay, it's rendered now, so let's have a look at it. Okay, it doesn't look that bad, but uh, it's still not right. Okay. Let me show you how to fix this now. Okay, right. So I'm going to move it to position so we can see some of that. The first thing you want to do is on the top layer, you want to reduce the brightness to, let's say, 50%. And then on the bottom layer, go back into optical flares and switch off let's see here I've got a don't have that it's okay let's see what, what is it that I'm missing here uh, yeah lens orbs hide and that one hide that one hide <clears throat> hide and hide I also want to hide that right okay so I've, I've hidden everything else apart from just the lens flare and let's see how this rolls Okay, again, I'll, I'll come back. Okay, it's rendered now. Let's have a look at it. Okay, that looks uh, much better. Um, what I did was um, I changed the top layer brightness to 75% instead of 50% because it was getting really small. Now it looks much better. So that's how you can do that and there's one more trick I want to show you 
let me just get it back in position. The top layer here, what you can do is go back into optical flares and lens texture. You can choose to have dodgy or, or I don't know, dirty dag. In fact, dag is the one I used maybe. I don't remember now, but uh, just okay that. And now you'll see, there you go. Now that will disappear once the element 3D obscures the entire thing, which gives you a more natural look. Um, and you'll also have a little bit of these orbs, um, which is still being emitted by the sun as such, you know. So that's how you do it. And I'm really hoping to show you the final version here. So let's see if this, uh, does it any quicker? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to come back. Okay, it's rendered now. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So there you go, that's how you do it, and I hope you like it. Please subscribe and uh. <clears throat> comment or, or like you know whatever you like to do um or if you do it any other way um please let me know i can learn from it also thank you for watching have a good day